Hi, I'm Kanan, and I'm Chief Architect of AI Extreme. So let me start with some little bit of introduction. Actually, so I'm one of the world, uh, you know, almost extinct breed of traditional database guys who, you know, treated uh, relational normal form as a religion and, you know, followed that and, you know, with the new changes and, you know, new, you know, distributed databases didn't get me until I saw the acid properties uh, in a distributed database, actually. So finally, I was like, okay, I'm on board. Now I want to get into the distributed database kind of thing, actually, right? So, um, B, you know, Axim is a part of Axim Soft. We've been around for 15 plus years, and we've been in the database development and support kind of work, actually. So right now, we've been focusing more on uh, Foundation DB, and mainly our focus is on developing data stores for AI and, you know, for different models, actually. Right? That's what our focus is right now. We have been creating uh, data stores and, you know, for creating models, you know, deep learning models. And we, our go-to database has been Foundation DB now, actually, right, for so many other reasons. And when one of them is the, um, flex, you, know, you know, all the flexibility in the design of the schemas and stuff, actually. So, right. Uh, that said, I'll, I want to go over a, one example of what we are doing right now, how we are using Foundation DB. So we've been developing this application for one of our incubation startups. Um, so it is for a swim app, actually, right? You know, a mobile app. When you record a swimming uh, using AR and uh, AI, so it gets all the statistics of a swim, right? Or it directs the strokes and it gets the velocity uh, of the swim in instantaneous velocity of the swim, and it gets the strokes, and you know, all the basic statistics of a swimming by just recording it, right? So this, we developed it, and uh, we started creating a model for it, right? We used FDP to store the data because there's a lot of extensive data in it, so we want to use that to train the model. We've been using Turi Create to train the model, and the model became really huge because we were trying to capture all the scenarios possible uh, for a swimmer, right? But swimmer here, swimmer in Japan, swimmer in, you know, Europe, so they are different. Their swimming styles are different, you know, things are different. We only tried to, you know, build one model for them, it was too hard. And also we want to keep the model on a mobile device. So we can't have a bulky, you know, model size as well. So we ended up creating micro models, basically. Right, so where uh, we put in a basic model which works like 80 percentage of our swimmer, and then when they record, when they see the strokes, when there is minor changes to that, they can manually adjust the strokes or adjust the data, and we capture that change for every night, and when they sign up for it, basically, so it sends back to the cloud those data, and we spin out a one you know. Docker setup, right? Because we don't want to, that data to be shared by any other data. You know, we don't want to mix it with any other data. So we create one stream of process, basically takes the images and data and trains the model and validates the model as well. So we have a set of data to validate it because we don't want to create a model just because somebody sent a data, right? So we want to validate it and then send the updated model back to that device. And then that cycle goes on until it gets perfect or, you know, we have validation saying, hey, you know what, the success rate is, you know, the success rate is so high, so we don't have to train anymore, or when the changes happen, then we train again. Uh, so this is the model we've been using right now, so where we use Foundation DB for the orchestration, and also, you know, as a lower footprint of Foundation DB in the Docker setup to use it to train the models, actually, right? So... This is the one scenario we've been using, and it's been effectively working for us in a, in a way. And so we have been, other than this, we've been using in ActTech and Solar and many things as well. Okay, so that's all I want to share today. Actually, so you know, we are database support and services team. So if you need any help in uh, development or support or even you know, creating some POCs, uh, please reach out to us and let us know. Thank you.